Hi folks, uh, a viewer asked about my solar panels, and there are good videos out there that will show you how to do this. Mine are already installed, but I encourage you to go out and find, find uh, how to install these on top of an RV. That's the best information I found whenever I went to do mine. But these are flexible panels. And they have a piece of this channel plastic. I don't know if you can see it. There. That actually came off of, uh, out of the greenhouse supply. That gives you, uh, from, top, from one end to the other, it gives you an air gap. Uh, these little tubes. Um, they, can, they can't blow air through them because you don't want any air getting under it. So up at the top at the front of it you put in a, a little strip of metal across there and if you go into your big box hardware store you'll find uh, you'll find a piece of metal that will it, just a piece it's a step it's a strip and then it goes up and it'll cover that and th you also want to get you want to use stainless steel uh, fasteners so that way you don't have to worry about any kind of corrosion this tape you tape you tape the uh, the greenhouse material down with this RV tape and this stuff is really really strong um, let's see the cars driving by I'm in a Cloudland Canyon State Park in Georgia uh, but you want you want to uh, uh, fasten these down, and as part of that, you you, you got to unless you want to drill holes in your topper, which I didn't want to. You fasten these down, great big fender washer sort of things here. Um, these these are really large washers. You need one down there as well. And if you do that and you use this. I don't know what it is RV tape. It's about three inches wide, and it's very very strong once you get it on You don't take it off again, but you have that on your six fastener points for each panel And then you can see I use more of that tape just to hold the cabling down up there um, and Let's see doing it this way uh, allows you you can you can unscrew these nuts uh, and replace the panel without having to do take anything else apart other than of course you need to untape the cables up there i did have to replace one of these panels uh, it, it i don't know what was wrong with it uh, but two each panel is 100 watts and they go down through the front and you need to watch the car washes because you're all of a sudden about two inches taller. Uh, so where you went to the car wash, but where you may not be able to go to, just word to the wise. Uh, I put a little white paint on here uh, just to make it blend in a little bit more. I didn't bother with it back here because you can't see it. Uh, these are um, Renology panels, and I got a... Renology charge controller you have when you put in a solar panel system you need uh, The panel to generate the electricity and then you need a charge controller to manage that electricity um, So that you can put it into your battery and um, Not damage your battery if you just want 12 volts or 24 volts depending on how you wire it uh, Usually 12 volts out of your battery of course um, if you just want 12 volts, which you can do most stuff with 12 volts, uh, like what I'm doing, and an electric campsite, uh, then you don't need to do any more. Um, if, you're, if you want to plug in something, like plug in a hair dryer, then uh, you need an inverter. And once you start talking about inverters, you're changing DC into AC, and so you're you're going to lose a little there, I think. Um, you're not going to get a whole lot of power out of that inverter with a couple of two hundred or a couple of hundred watt uh, panels. 
you know, if you get little bitty crock pots and things like that, maybe you can run them, I don't know. But you'll have to figure that out. I did not put an inverter in there because most of the time I stay at an electric site. I use these panels to keep my refrigerator running. Uh, I, I keep a, my refrigerator runs 365. Uh, it's always on. Um, if I'm going to be in a shaded area for some time, I, I'm I'm going to be plugged into electric, and usually, and I, just, I I may need to take it off of take that refrigerator off of solar and uh, use the shore power for it. But uh, this gives me lights. Uh, it, it keeps my refrigerator running. I can um, keep my every all my stuff charged. I can keep my cell phone charged. I've got a little jackery in there. I can keep it charged with this system. Um, I can. Uh, I can't charge my laptop with this system. It needs more power coming in. I, I, don't, I don't know what that's about, but. Um, uh, if I use this system to charge the little Jackery, then I can charge my laptop on the Jackery, so it's no big deal. Uh, I run, uh, in addition to the, uh, um, hmm, I've got a little fan in there too that I can run, and it'll run for quite a while. But anyway, that's this is my solar power setup, um, and, and don't, you know, I didn't do as nice a job as the other guys out there, so look at those videos. It's not complicated, and I've had these on for uh, close to 50,000 miles, I think, at least, with no problems at all. Other than I had one panel I had to replace, but it wasn't because of the mounting or the... Uh, it, it was something wrong with the wiring on it, I think. Anyway, hope this was helpful.